Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of some Epic Destiny Quest. For this right here, it isn't a live game. This game right here, I was playing because on this level right here, this is how I like to camp on this level. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do it. I don't want to say the word camping because we say that for Call of Duty. But on this level, I always managed like the first real good gameplay I had. I was 25 and 5. And then after that, I had a couple 14 and 4 games and the 15 and 3. And this is my method to camping real good on this level. I'm going to say the C word, even though we all dread that. But on this level, this seems my favorite multiplayer level, and I kicked so much ass on. I should have clicked on to see where I was at, but on this one right here, during this part of the video, I think I was about... Wow, I think I was around like 7-0 and 0 at the time, and just decided to hit the little, you know, let me record a little bit, show how I done. To me right now, uh, to me personally, I feel that I'm good for at least 3 kills minimum. And uh, 3 kills minimum as soon as I get my... Uh, as soon as I get the uh, the heavy the heavy ammo gun, which is as you see is big ass fucking terminator gun. So what I decided to do here, if you notice, I'm going to this little cave. I notice all my guys are spawning behind me, so I'm going to this little cave right here, holding it down, left and right, one way one way in this way basically, like two ways in behind me. But what I'm actually doing is getting the quick kill, reloading, which you should be doing because these game these guys reload a lot faster, other than sleight of hand on Call of Duty. But I'm going back far enough in this cave. That the spawn points are not going to flip and that's very vital to know where your spawn points are if you notice all of my kills come from basically this left side because I'm going back far enough that my team is still alive over there i'm getting a quick kill and i'm coming back and uh kicking ass kick some ass right here and i just all, only thing i do on this level is rinse and repeat and this is one of the first time i'm doing this i'm getting a lot lot of assists because I'm you know instead of me using my bomb normally I'll throw that bomb behind me and I think somebody's coming there just to you know attract their attention and know what's going on but I was like fuck it that little area where I threw that bomb at a lot of people it's a, it's a high traffic area meaning it's every player when they're on the same level I don't know why it always goes in small cramped spaces but uh me I kind of was worrying about you know like I always worry about my kill death ratio I'm not trying to go perfect games I'm not trying to do this I just don't want to be that guy on that team who has fucking fucking 10 deaths yeah you got 10 15 kills but you got 20 deaths that's embarrassing and that's stupid so on this part right here i know once i know my weakness my weakness is without my heavy armor gun on this level since it's so wide and since i like to use the potion gun i mean the fusion rifle they can pick me off so i decided to stick with this gun and another thing i did too that cave right there has the heavy ammo that's my pride joy that's my baby i like to camp or get close to a spot where i know the heavy ammo is coming and once I get it, that's it. But as you see right here, I think right about now, I'm thinking I'm like, I think I'm like 9 and 0. Maybe at, at this point, I just reached 8 and 0. There you go. That assist right there puts me at, I don't know what 10 straight kills are, or maybe 9. But that's probably 10 or 9 straight kills. But kind of kind of got a little, uh, little, little cocky and kept coming out there. I thought about going for the perfect game, but my team was hanging in there. I was trying to do, show how I can. But since I was getting the kills, you know, and being, you know, you know, having... Getting all these kills and no deaths and crap like that. My team, they the ones dying. Obviously not me if I'm still alive at this point. But I noticed just the score is getting too far there. So what I'm doing, making a bone hit a mistake slash not really a bone hit. So I'm trying to help my team out win. You always try to go for the win no matter what you try to do. Like if you try to get an achievement, try to help your team out. That's what I was doing. I was trying to just not, trying to see what kind of ammo uh, legendary rewards they will give me for doing this. But in the midst of all that, I was trying to win no less. But it didn't look like it because I stayed in this little area. But like I do know this level extremely well, and I know which levels are high risk. I mean, which areas are high traffic areas, and I know that nine times out of ten people come through here. This, tell you the truth, this is the least amount of traffic of people coming through these two tunnels. That side and the left side over there, this is uh, like slowest it's ever been. But as you see, this video is going to come down to a close. This is just me. Well, to tell you the truth, I finished the video. And I was finished uh, playing the game. I just wanted to show you. Let's do a quick little video while I was playing and build the game. How I, how I get good, how I camp this level. Because I really love this level. It's my favorite level. But I basically uh, finished this gameplay with Lost with my team. So like, I can't blame my team. I blame myself. I was trying. I could have came out there and helped out a lot more. But like I said, I didn't die. If you're the one not dying, it means you're obviously one doing good. But long story short, I finished this 11 and 2. Get my first death and I get two more. But like I said, 11 and 2. And this is a great way to learn how to camp. Know your levels, know what to do, help your team out best you can. But in the end of the traffic, just try to uh, do it safely. But long to help your team out. And this is basically camping on Destiny. Love you guys.